a very special learning video. The more you know. I don't know. I'm out of practice. You guys, have you ever gone into Sephora to the Lancome area and saw all these mascaras and wondered, what the hey? <laughs> How could these possibly be so different from one another that it warrants having like a zillion mascaras? I know I have. In fact, I think, but I did not research this, but I think Lancome might have more mascaras than any other cosmetics company that I can think of. Why? Inquiry minds want to know, and so I bought what I thought was all of them, but it wasn't all of them. And I didn't go on the Lancome site where there probably is more, but I got five mascaras from Lancome. So I got two in the full size and the rest I got in minis. So three minis and the Idol and the Le Eight Hypnose. And we did some wear tests on these. So I wanted to see what my lashes would look like, how everything is different, and if they would wear differently. And I have to say, right off the bat, they pretty much all wear the same. They stayed all day long. They were all slightly difficult to remove. I had to spend some time there with micellar water, which is my preference. I don't like eye makeup remover because the oil gets in my eyes. And there wasn't any flaking. But the other day, I wore the Idol, and I was in the living room where I keep a mirror because back in the day, I used to tweeze my eyebrows in the living room while I was watching TV. And yeah, yeah. Although I do have things to tweeze now. And I was just checking out what's going on in the face, and there were some smudges. And I don't know if it was because it was so wet and I blinked before I finished. I was using, I don't know, probably 10X. I don't think people would have seen it, but I'm just saying. Not so sure about that one. Could have been user error. Every single one of these I tested brand new. If you wear mascara, you know that. Most mascaras aren't fantastic when you just buy them. They become fantastic over a couple of weeks and really hit that sweet spot, which lasts for a long, long time. But I didn't care to let this mature like a fine wine before I started doing the inserts and the tests for this one. So they were all brand spanking new, except for one. Uh, I think it was the Hypnos the 8, where, I can't remember, but I'll point it out in editing. I'll, you know, do a little subtitle, where I had um, decided not to use the first time, the footage from the first time, because I had a dark eye makeup on, and you couldn't see the lashes with the dark eye makeup on. So I redid that one, and it was a little bit older. And there was a little bit of a difference. I also did not check the descriptions for any of these because I didn't want to have any preconceived notions running around in my head. So here are the four that I got. This is the Le 8 Hypnose and this to me, I know some people would say it's um, hourglass, but this is truly like a woman's figure to me. It is just lovely and the wand is the same. But I'm not going to talk too much. It's just this is so beautiful and it fits in the hand so well that I show all that kind of stuff in the video. Okay, the Idol. The Hypnos Drama. So there's a couple of Hypnos. This is the Le 8, then the Drama, but I think there's at least one more on the Sephora site. Who knows? At the Lancome site. The Monsieur Big which Alana Davison used to love this. I don't know if she still does. And the Definicils. Those are the four. If it sounds interesting to you, go ahead, take a chance, and give the video a thumbs up just right now. Everybody just pound on that key. If you have not followed me, consider doing so. Think very hard because it's such a huge, huge commitment. And uh, yeah, let's get on to the descriptions, and I'll be pulling in footage, I think, over here, and you'll see the application and what they look like. Everything I am wearing on my face today is listed down below, and today I'm wearing Monsieur Bic. Glasses probably required. Aha! First up is Monsieur Big. What it is, a volumizing mascara for your most dramatic lashes yet. 
get a false lash effect with up to 12 times more volume and up to 24 hours of wear. I have to ask, why are you wearing mascara for 24 hours? Do not do. I feel that it looks longer than the others that I've used, but I'm still having that spiky kind of look rather than the feathery kind of look. And again, it's hard to know when something is really fresh if in a week or two it's going to work. What else you need to know? Say goodbye to fake lashes and eyelash extensions and say hello to longer lashes. This volumizing and lengthening mascara is smudge proof and does not flake. I'd say that's true of all of them, really. The soft brush and waxy fiber bristles, bristles deliver high intensity. High intensity what? While the ultra black pigments evenly coat each lash for clump free volume. And then my notes is the wand is very similar to the Definisols. The Definisols and the Monster Big, it's both kind of like that traditional Christmas tree thing like this, except not so wide at the bottom, but it's not straight, but it's bigger than the Definisols. And yeah, I mean, wearing it now, showing you what it looks like there, I think it's very pretty. It's giving me long lashes. What I'm not going to do, or I'm gonna try not to do, is tell you what my favorite is. I'm gonna tell you what my observations are, but what I want from mascara and what you want from mascara could be two very, very different things. I want a fluttery, fluffy lash that looks like I have three times as many lashes that I do, and that looks really natural. I don't like clumpiness. I don't like the look of mascara. I am probably the odd man out on that. I don't like the look of extensions, unless they're very well done, but the ones that I've seen haven't been really terribly well done. And yeah, I just, to me, the best mascara is no longer being made. It was an hourglass mascara, and I love the Kush, but the Kush gets all over your eyes half the time, so it's very risky. And I know that they have a waterproof formula, but I don't want to struggle to take off my mascara. So that's my preference, but it's not about what I prefer. I'm just going to show you the effect that I got, and you can decide if one of these is for you. Carrying on. Now the Hypnos a drama mascara, what it is, an intense black mascara with a unique S-shaped curved brush that creates lifted, volumized lashes in a single coat. What else you need to know? This volumizing mascara creates dramatic lashes in just one coat without clumping or flaking. The Buildable Wet formula delivers a fluid and creamy application, full contact S-shaped brush to grasp each eyelash and evenly coat from root to tip for a more voluminous thick lash look. Catches every lash. These are my notes now. It did catch every lash. As I'm putting it on, I'm like, wow, I could feel that brush just getting every lash, and I love that feeling. But for me, it was a bit clumpy, and I think that's because it's a volumizing. <laughs> I think clumpy and volumizing can be synonymous from time to time, and it seemed pretty wet. And it's interesting because I took these notes on a different pad, and then I imported them into these notes here of what the company is saying, and I didn't realize that the company said, this is wet. I'm telling you, it's wet. It is shaped exactly like the La 8 Hypnos that we'll talk about right now. But more volumizing than lengthening for me, a little wet, and I felt a little clumpy. And oftentimes when something is quote-unquote volumizing, the clumpiness tends to make three or four lashes stick together, and it looks like I have fewer lashes. I don't note that I felt that here, but I'm saying... This is my experience in life with mascara. The next one is Late Hypno Serum Infused Volumizing Mascara. So it seems like it's pretty much the same as the drama, except that it is serum infused and 
the packaging is insanely beautiful. The wands are exactly the same. What it is, a serum infused, let's see if I can do this without the glasses because I'm just loving my makeup today. A serum infused long lasting mascara powdered by 91% black balm and eight amino acids for plush volume and visibly revitalized lashes over time. So, I'm not sure, they don't seem to be saying it's a growth serum, but it will revitalize your lashes. That could mean many things. It's a little vague. What else you need to know? Create sculptured volume in seconds with the sensitive, eye-friendly mascara formulated for all-day wear. The soft vegetal fiber brush evenly coats lashes for a plush, full-bodied look. And my notes were it's a beautiful component. I just cannot tell you how beautiful I think this is. It's just stunning. And Lancome's very good at, not all their mascaras have the most stunning. <laughs> Case in point, this kind of looks like Lash Paradise, but they can bring it when they want to. And that's pretty much it. I thought the wand was interesting. I thought it did grab onto every lash. And initially, I felt like this is my favorite. I told you I was going to try not to talk about my favorites, but I thought it was my favorite. And this is the one that I kept on going to. But it might have been because the component is just so fantastic. And, uh, yeah. Next. Definisil's High Definition Lengthening Mascara. So, so far we have the hypnosis, the two hypnosis that I have were volumizing and the first one that I did is the Monster Big which they're saying is lengthening and volumizing as I recall and the Definis Sills is saying that it's lengthening. What it is, iconic defining mascara that creates the look of longer lashes with flake free non-clumping formula. I would agree. What else you need to know, this lengthening mascara defines lashes using polymers formulated to lift and lengthen. The comb-like brush complements the lengthening formula with a hedgehog bristle pattern that dispenses the perfect amount of product while separating for a natural eyelash look. I'm going to have to try this again because I... I well, I will put in what, my, what I was saying while I was doing it. And now I'll do another coat. What I didn't like about this the other day, yesterday, it just has a spiky look. I don't like that. I want to look like I have more lashes, so I want something really fluttery. And I just don't think this is it. Also, my notes, the wand is narrow like a Christmas tree, so this is the other one I was talking about, but it's not thick at the bottom. I felt that, that my lashes were long and spidery looking, but not full, and it didn't make me look like I had more lashes. It just looked like a spiky couple of lashes, and I didn't love this look, personally. So, I broke my rule and I told you a little bit, but you may. And then the last one is the Lash Adult, which is lifting and volumizing. So it doesn't say lengthening and volumizing. What it is, a volumizing and lengthening, aha! So Monsieur Big and Lash Adult are pretty much saying they are both volumizing and lengthening. Mascara that targets every single lash for an instant lift length fanned out volume without clumps. I hate to disappoint you, but I, this is the one that messed up on me the other day. And it was clumpy. What else you need to know? This mascara has a curved wand that pushes up and fans out lashes for an open eye effect with up to 24 hours of lasting power, just like the Monsieur Big, actually. 360 micro size bristles grab and lengthen every lash from root to tip, no matter how small. I did notice that I got that gripping feeling that I like. While the lightweight gel formula leaves lashes feathery soft without flaking, clumping, or smudging. And again, I kind of had an experience with this. The wand is slightly curved. The bristles are rubber. This is the only one that has rubber bristles and are on both sides. So the outside would be what I use for here. 
because it's curving the other way so you have a less chance of it hitting your skin. And the inside was a very good curve for my particular eye, so that was very comfortable. And yeah, that's it you guys. I would love to hear which one you liked best on me, and if you have tried a couple of these or any of these, which one you love the best, or which one you think you might want to get, or if you think they're not different enough for them to have so many, because they have a lot. <laughs> and that's, you know, today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope it was fun and maybe helpful, and I hope you come back again. And until we meet again, be safe and smart. And, I'm, and do you hear the princess is snoring? Princess Grace. She doesn't snore as loud as Lucy did. Lucy used to shave, shave. She used to snore like Fred Flintstone, not all the time. But the first night I took her home, she kind of got under the covers with me. She was a burrower, where Grace is not. But it would acted as an amphitheater, so her head's up towards me, and the covers are on her, and but they're up because I'm bigger, right? And she is snoring, and it's so loud, and I thought, this is not going to work out, but it did, and uh, I think I think beagles tend to snore. Anyway, until we meet again, be safe and smart, and I'm wishing you good health. <laughs>